In this video we are going to look over this Canon AE-1 program 35mm film camera equipped with the Canon FD 50mm f1.8 lens and a special commemorative 1984 Olympic Games um, lens cap. And in order to check this out I thought what I'd do first is is uh, put a battery in. Now this is just for testing, it's not included but I'll demonstrate how we do that and check it over as we go along. We're going to take this action grip off and it was pretty loose so all I had to do was open up this screw with the thumb and slide it off. Because this comes off so easily this is often missing from these cameras and you can always tell an AE-1 program has a little knob right there that this hooks right onto. And so those are often missing and this one has it so that's a big plus. Um, also the battery doors on these cameras are often severely damaged and this one looks to be in really good shape. I don't see any cracks on it anywhere. Uh, there's no problem with it. It opens and closes properly. And so what we're going to do is stick our test battery in there. Snap it shut and we'll put the little action grip back on just finger tight here okay and then I thought we would uh, here we'll set this switch it from the lock where it will not fire to the A position where it will this camera sometimes has what they call that squeal sound and so here we're gonna run it a few times uh, we'll start here at one one thousandth of a second one five hundredth, one two fiftieth, one one twenty fifth, one sixtieth, one thirtieth, one fifteenth, a little bit of that squeal in there, one eighth, one fourth, one half and what I'm going to do here is stop the lens down so we can watch the lens stopping down while I also actuate the shutter. So again this is at one half second. We could see that happen. One full second. Two full seconds. Let's set this to a different f-stop. Not as far. Two seconds and the bulb setting and there it just stays with the shutter open as long as I hold the button down. Okay, so the shutter's working on all settings. I did verify that the uh, little metering lights in the side of the viewfinder that uh, were working. The, uh, the back of the camera has a uh, Canon eye cup and this is still soft and pliable. These are usually in pretty bad shape but this one looks very serviceable yet. Uh, over here we can set the ASA and that works. And then over here obviously the shutter speed or program and then you can set this lens to the automatic so that it will then select a shutter speed and uh, appropriate f-stop to go with it. I did look through this lens and I didn't see any problems with it. Right, we're going to just pull it off here and work the focus a little bit. You can see very nice and smooth. Looks good on both sides and like I said I did look through it. I, I mounted it to the camera, set the camera on bulb and had it wide open and looked in toward a LED flashlight and so that seemed to look really good. Oh, here was the, uh, let's look inside the mirror box on the bulb setting so we can just see everything move. Now we're seeing back through to the pressure plate. It's actually sounding pretty good here right now. Just once in a while I hear that squeal sound. There was just a little bit of it. So it's pretty good. And the lens mounts properly and the button pops out. Sometimes that doesn't work right on these cameras, so there it does. And then if we set this on an f-stop, then this is your stop-down preview here. 
and it's a locking stop down preview we can see that the that that's it and if you want to take it off you can take it off uh, it has the little uh, plug here in front of the uh, flash sink socket often these little plugs are missing but this one is here so that's nice probably will never use that because you've used the hot shoe flash and this one even has a little cover over the hot shoe a little cannon piece there so we'll slide that back in and let's look inside the camera. I'm going to pull the little rubber cup out of the way a little bit. And it looks very nice and clean inside here. Let's run the shutter. That looks good. Move across here to the doors. I do not feel any light seal material along these edges whatsoever. So that's a really good sign that they're probably really nice shape yet. In fact, I wonder if somebody replaced this. this. Well, that feels a little old, but it's not bad. So, okay. Pull the rubber eye cup out of the way to close it. S closes nicely. If we look underneath the camera, amazingly nice, really. Usually these are all dinged up around the tripod socket from hunting and pecking, trying to find that. But this one looks you know, just a little bit of scuffing, but not much. Minor superficial scuffs here and there, but really quite nice. The lens cap fits nicely. And oh, one thing I didn't test was the self-timer. Let's check that out here. So I set this on S. Let's just set this up here back at program. Okay, here I hear the beeping. And they're faster and then it actuated so that's quite nice um, it comes with this strap the strap has some uh, little fuzzers and pulled material on it but it's it certainly seems serviceable uh, it's attached on on both ends with swivels so a bit of wear on it but it's not bad and then Along with the camera and strap, we have some booklets here. One of them is the AE-1 program camera manual. And so uh, this is a little bit of wear and tear on it, but it's pretty good. Uh, all the different parts of the camera. And then let's fold this up so it stays right. Okay. Lots of information about the camera, how to use it. A product guide looks like lots of the things that Canon was offering at the time. And some of their uh, smaller point and shoot cameras. A little booklet about the Canon FD lenses, with which there's one right here. And then a Canon lens book that has. Uh, Lots of information about Canon lenses, sample photos and all that, and what's this? Appears to be more information about lenses written in French on that side, English on this side. Okay, so all of that together.